so this is basically the OTP input and I in previous video I I just show you a demo but now I will explain how it will work so I will show you the code on this for this part of this application so what you need to do you have to you have to install one plugin that is uh, ng, OTP, ng otp input plugin so if we check the google so this is the plugin you have to install by running this command so i already installed this so i'm not going to run this but uh, before starting for on this uh, on this code you have to install this plugin so after installing this uh, you have to create one page one component where you have to uh, write the code for this so i already have one component that is otp and inside otp module.ts file inside the module module file of this component uh, you have to import ng otp input module and you have to put inside import array so this is the first step after installing so make sure you have uh, registered inside mo uh, page dot module dot ts file like this you have to import this now after this you can go to the html and you have to put that ng otp input tag and after placing this it will automatically create that four input box you have to do some some configuration part that is there is a config property attribute inside this tag and you have to pass an object like what is the size of the uh, input box currently we have four so that's why we have uh, four input box here if we put six then there will be six input box so currently four that why we have four input box for this otp and allow numbers only so if make sure if you have to allow only number you have to put this property allow numbers only true and if you want to put any custom class you have to put input class uh, you have to use input class property and you have to pass your class name this class name should be put inside the global dot source file that is this so i already have this class and i mentioned inside this tag so after this uh, you, you have this uh, otp input and we have one in event otp input change so whenever we put inside the input box search uh, it this method will be execute and this is the parameter passed inside that function so if you check the this is the basically this is the value you can see the this value it just we just print this value so if you check the code uh, if output you can see the console uh, let's refresh this and you can see what we input inside this it will give the output inside the console so this way you can use that uh, plugin for the OTP input box edge thank you